Hi, it's JDS here, and this is my first sports video talking about sports, not playing. In a second, I'll get into the topics and talk about them. And this, all the topics are the Liverpool game against West Ham and the AFL game Eagles vs. Poor LA. If you look just at the first half, basically, you would not think we deserve to win. And to be honest, Eagles didn't. We deserve to lose that by 20, 30 points at minimum. But somehow we hung in there, kept it low scoring, and came through right at the end, as I just said before, scoring after the siren. A lot of people in the media are hating on Jack Darling for what they say is a poor performance. But it wasn't that bad. It's just the ball, with him, when the ball came to him, it wasn't to him, it was in an awkward position that made it hard for him to take a mark, to take a mark and kick a goal or just get the ball in general. He did take one amazing mark which I won't be able to show you but you can look it up. Not only did we win this game but we won it without some important players in the team. We were missing Gaff, we were missing Kennedy and we have a few retirements still but we've got over that so I can't really use that as a reason. Surprisingly, the game had a lot of injuries and they were all to Ruckman. Vardy hurt his knee, Lysette hurt, I don't remember what Lysette hurt, but he hurt something. Dixon fractured something in his ankle, wasn't nice. And also, later on in the game, just after Dixon fractured his ankle, he got to see Ryan take a specky. Amazing mark. You can you go on the AFL website and search up the game, you can see if you scroll down. Um, as well as the um, Lyset injury, or I think all the injuries actually, and the um, Darling Mark. As a new supporter, it was uh, amazing in hype because if you backtrack a year, we versed Port Adelaide in a prelim final, which is for any English people or people who don't know what AFL is, there's a final season at the end of the season where the top eight teams play in certain ways and if you're in the top two you get a second chance and but doesn't matter. A prelim final basically the first round of the finals if you want to lower teams. And we scored after the siren in that game to win and get through. Lost the next one though so it didn't really matter. This game is actually an Eagles players 100th game. Not for the club but 100th game in the AFL which is a big milestone for a player because most players in the AFL get one or two games in their career. To each 100 means you were a good player in the AFL for a decent amount of time and it's actually had a few um, all Australian things in the year which is like the best players get picked for a team to like all, the all Australian team versus the Irish I believe in a um, mixture of our two sports because we have AFL they have um, Gaelic football and they sort of I think we normally do Gaelic and they play. We won the last one, I'm pretty sure. Can't believe I missed this when I was saying players were missing. That's an the most important player, in my opinion. It made such a difference. Some people are saying, including himself, made a difference in the midfield. But in my opinion, it's no doubt that there was a difference. He's just so good in the rock and around the ground. He's such a dominant player against oppositions, and teams are scared when they get faced by him. They really come out on top. Okay, other games from the weekend were, sorry, I'm going to pick them up, were Essendon St Kilda 120-79, Hawthorne Geelong 71-60, always a close game between them, Richmond Gold Coast was 125-51, to not surprisingly thrashing, um, what's his name, Jack Revolt kicked 10-9 in that game. 10 goals 9, I'm pretty sure. 10 goals 9 points, that is, for anyone who doesn't understand the way it works here. Um, there's the Eagles game, us versus Port Adelaide, 62-58. GWS Giants versus Adelaide Crows, 106-92. Collingwood versus Brisbane, which was 104-73. North Melbourne versus Western Bulldogs, which was 92-85. I was surprised by that one, I expected North Melbourne to win. I should have been saying who won these, I'll say at the end. Melbourne vs Sydney Swans, which Sydney won 87-78 to and Fremantle vs Carlton, which Fremantle surprisingly won despite starting poorly, 101-72.
We'll be up to the top now. Essendon beat St Kilda, Hawthorne won against Geelong. Richmond beat Gold Coast, unsurprisingly. We beat Port. Giants beat Adelaide, Collingwood beat Brisbane, Western Bulldogs beat North, Melbourne were beaten by Sydney and Fremantle beat Carlton. Okay, after this round I'll show you what that looks like. I won't be able to show you, I'll just tell you. Richmond on top, 64 points, West Coast Eagles, 16 second. Giants, West Coast Eagles have basically solid, solidified that second position. It's very important to get second position because you get that extra chance in the player in the playoff playoffs excellent get it called playoffs so GW West from third with 54 Fort Corner in fourth Collingwood are in fifth Sydney in sixth Melbourne in seventh Port Adelaide in eighth John Cats in ninth North Melbourne in tenth Essendon in eleventh Adelaide Crows in tw- Adelaide Crows in twelfth Fremantle in 13th, Bulldogs in 14th, St Kilda in 15th, Bidbin in 16th, Gold Coast in 17th, and Carlton in that volume in 18th. Only one 20th.